All right, welcome, bitches, to Transformation Nurse Academy podcast. I am doing a remote uh, recording live, not live, but fucking here in uh, Alicia Trisitter's house. See, and I didn't fucking read it. We did it, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I just want you to welcome the shit. You know, we're at her house, and I appreciate that she came here to, or she let me come here to, to record this last couple episodes here. And I hope you've liked it so far. Shit, I don't even remember how many we recorded. I had to ask her this morning and stuff. But I should have got here earlier because you should have seen him. She was all fucked up and shit walking around. I, sh- I could have recorded speak. this stuff. Yeah. She couldn't speak. But now that my presence is here and my long, beautiful hair, he's probably fucking making her excited. So she's fucking like getting back to her normal self and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I have my nose too. It's all right. I'll fucking do oh. Maybe I'll do this. Hold on one second here. Let me get my notes and shit. All right, Jane, calm the fuck down. For the rest of you, don't make me fucking look at my fat ass and shit. If you're watching it on YouTube, if you're not, well, I guess you can't see my fucking fat ass because I got my notes and stuff here that, that I took this morning. Let me go to my chat GPT. You ever use chat GPT? Mm-mm. Why not? You should use that motherfucker. It's awesome. I love motherfucking Chad GPT. I don't know what it is. Shut the fucking front door. What? Fucking hell, man. You can ask him anything. You, what do you, oh, it'll help you write your fucking book. No? Yeah. What? Okay. So what's this? These are my questions this morning. So I, my first question was about, because we talked about yesterday. So let's follow up with yesterday. Remind everybody, just in case they're fucking just, I'm going to look at my hair. I'm getting old and shit and gray. All right, so remind mm-hmm. them. Who you are. <laughs> remind, remind them who you are. How the fuck did we meet? This is episode, I don't know what the fuck part we're on. The, uh, I don't even know what four part we're five. on. Four, five, six. I don't know. Fuck it, Jane, you have to tell me shit. But Yeah, because we just kind of kept going yesterday. We did, huh? We just kept just, it. everything just kind of led into the next. Where were you next. sitting yesterday? I was in my recliner what over the there. the fuck? She should have been right here where it's beautiful, looking outside her pool and stuff. She's it's, over there playing in her damn chair and shit. Well, yes, because it's comfy. I know. <laughs> so I'm Alicia Trisitter. Uh I met Kevin, gosh, 14 years ago when... 2009, uh, 2010. Yeah, I know. when I got my IV blood draw certification. You ever used that motherfucker? Hell yeah, I did. A lot of times, certain well, you know, IVs, alcohol, blood draws. Because, you know, there's, I don't remember, there's a couple of people that come to my class who are like, well, I never use them. I'm like, well, that's your book of fault. Yeah, sure. that's, I still have the books. Oh, well, my books probably changed since. Then. I'm sure. But I still <laughs> kept the books. I don't see that. You know, so we met, uh, yeah, gosh, 14 or so more yeah. years ago. It's a long time. It's a very long time. The class was amazing, and then we stayed in touch on Facebook because I would follow you. I stalk um, you. See this stuff going on. You stalk all your students. <laughs> well, I want to see what the fuck y'all are doing. Exactly. You're seeing oh. how we've evolved and where we've yeah. gone and what we've done and how we're doing. I've seen people go from uh, CNA to mm-hmm. LBN to RN to even some DMPs. Mm-hmm. That's how crazy it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like crazy. That. It's and I love it. I've seen a lot of my CNAs that I worked with when I was a new nurse. They're now nurses, and I'm so proud of them. So speaking of CNA, somebody on the Facebook the other day asked me about a scope of practice for a CNA. Oh. But I can't find one. I found a link on the board, kind of what it tells them they can and can't do, but it's not very good. It's not. It's it's pretty vague. Um, so can, was can, there something specific that yeah, they were? Yeah, they want to know, can CNAs put on EKG patches and hook up the lines? No. Leads? And I said, I don't think so unless you've been specially trained. Like exactly. you had to go to an EKG class or something like yeah. that. Yeah. So my my CNAs when I taught CNA, um oh, so we you did, taught CNA. I taught right. DNA, MA, and LVN clinicals. All right, see, look at you. Um, and so I taught for Westman. That's kind of where we were yesterday. No, I did. So did when you teach when that old lady was there? I did. Did you really? I did. Oh. I knew her. You probably killed her red. Shut up. <laughs> no, I I'm didn't. just teasing, but she just was just kidding. I'm just joking. He's just joking. May she rest in peace. But um she resting all right. Uh, <laughs> wow. I know I'm going to hell. <laughs> you have a whole reservation right there. I got my whole place and shit. But you sure do. Hey, that's good. Yeah. Nobody be around me. Shit. Right. It's okay. 
to space. Um, no, so I, I taught, and so we never taught um, CNAs to do EKGs, pads, leads, anything like that. But can they, um, if they take an EKG class and become a EKG tech? Yes. If the facility allows it, it yeah, then it you. then goes based off the policy and procedures well, of because the facility. Like, how, somebody, I don't know, I was looking up, what's the difference between a PCT and a CNA? Do you know what a PCT is? They call it a patient care technician. Oh, yeah. To me, it's, I don't know. Don't be mad at me and shit, so fuck y'all. It's like being a CNA in the hospital. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. You know what I mean? And they're, but they, I don't think they can... I'm not saying I'm not saying they don't, but I don't think they're supposed to be fucking with the leads either. Right. I don't know if I'm wrong, so calm the fuck down, bitches. But I don't think they can, because even when the transporter comes to the ED, they won't put on the telly box a way for us to do it. Yeah. Yeah. See, so yeah, because it's out of their scope. What if they put it in the wrong place? Right. What if you right. know? That's what there's thinking. too many other things going on. Right. Because you can't place leads like so. If somebody has a pacemaker, well, and seeing the big difference with yours and and my scope too is that i never worked in the hospital right I got so you. that's that a lot of that's new to me well, so lvns and rns the same thing no <laughs> but this discussion yesterday. we are <laughs> but we are still a team yes, but there are team. many things that don't be bitches to each other no love one another because i'm telling you nine times out of ten my you know what I've had other nurses that I work with and hey, I love you all, but there are some nurses and we talked about this. We hit on this a little bit yesterday. Those that are in it for the money and not in it for the patient care. I would rather have my CNAs. You keep talking. I'm going to fix the camera. I would, I would rather have my CNAs in the trenches with me getting down and dirty and doing what we need to do. Like if it came to a code or whatever, because a lot of other times, you know, other nurses, they eat their young. And yeah. and they want to tear up one another and yeah, but why do I get this shit? Why do y'all want to fucking beat each other up? You know over what? I never understood it either. It's like, well, I'm here to do the same thing and take care of our patients. Period. At the end of the day, that's that's all that it is. That's all that matters. That was you. That was your camera fucking up. So, okay, well, yeah. it's because you touched it. It's probably because I touched it and shit. Yeah, it's like, what what are you doing? Don't touch me. I'm not touching shit. See. That's what that's what All right, so we left off yesterday. We were talking about uh, just a recap. You know, we talked about her life growing up, uh, moving around to different places and in her high school, her high school uh, life. And then we talked about your uh, first husband who beat the shit out of you mm -hmm. and kind of got you where you are now. Yes. And so we talked about your TARS laws. Our love. Our loves sis, sis, as well as you have S1, S2. Oh, she sent me pictures of shit, which I'll post of shit if she's okay with it. Yeah. Uh, I just want to post a picture of your, your other one. <laughs> and then so, um, I mean, I will, but it makes me think dirty thoughts. Oh, and, my. <laughs> and then um, we talked about the, see, the S1, the S2, and then we talked about your C5. Mm -hmm. C5 keeps your... Diaphragm alive. Diaphragm alive. Don't forget that, bitches. Briff. Br yeah, it helps you briff. briff. Helps you briff. Helps you briff. And then so, uh, and then we got all the way to here, where you're at. Mm hmm So you. We started talking about me working in um, psych. Oh, yeah, that's right. She's mm -hmm. a mental health nurse. She yeah. did mental health nursing. But now she can't work anymore. How long ago did you stop working? Uh, just so originally in uh, May of 2022, um, my while you were at the psych facility or before the psych facility. No, I was I was working at inpatient, but it it was uh, May of 2022. My walking, so my gait. It's affected on the right side. Yeah, I saw her gig this morning. And so I kind of bounce when I walk on the... Let's jig a little bit more. <laughs> we call it... I call it twerking. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> so that had started up and that hadn't been happening um, for a very long time. So that kind of went away after... About a year after my neck surgery and I was able to go back to work. Well, then it came on all of a sudden. And so then I notified my doctor at Stanford because we didn't know what was going on. This and that. I ended up, um, my husband drove me to, my doctor had told me to go to the hospital. So I ended up going to CRMC and they did a brain MRI and they did a spine MRI and they found um, 
lesions on the white brain matter and the sub oh, oh, the, oh yeah i did look that up so i got you here uh, so i looked that up too uh, let me see where we're at here uh, um let's see oh brain lesions so what are causes what are causes of brain lesions is in let's see what are causes of brain lesions i put i don't know i must have been high this one what are called what are causes of brain lesions in this emotional and mental trauma lead to brain lesions i don't know what the fuck i wrote but chat gpt understood me oh. it says emotional and mental trauma leading to brain lesions is a complex phenomenon often involving multiple factors um stress hormones because you know when you get mm -hmm. fight or flight kicked in mm -hmm. your stress hormones get kicked in so prolonged exposure to stress triggers release of stress hormones like cortisol so almost mm -hmm. like a combat soldier mm -hmm. in combat uh, and it, it can have toxic effects on the brains and contribute to development of brain lesions yeah yeah Does that makes sense because yeah. your body your brain's getting overloaded with all these chemicals that doesn't know what to do with it uh, the inflammation emotional trauma can lead to chronic inflammation in the brain and lupus it says women with ptsd three times likely to have uh lupus which we talked about yesterday. Um, emotional trauma can lead to chronic inflammation in the brain, which can damage tissue and disrupt normal brain function, potentially resulting in lesions. Lesion. Changes in blood flow, severe emotional or mental trauma can affect blood flow to the brain, leading to ischemia, which if you don't know what that means, bitches, ischemia is lack of oxygen mm -hmm. or other vascular changes that may result in lesions. Neurochemical imbalance, trauma can disrupt the balance of transmitters in the brain, altering communication between the neurons. Mm -hmm. That's why you're all mm -hmm. getting the speech and shit's fucked up sometimes. Brain's that, not connected. Right. And potentially causing structural damage over time, mm -hmm. which causes what you just what we described. What yep. I saw this morning. I should have thought. It'll probably, probably happen again. Trust she me. Probably, she probably would have been mad at me. No, not at all. And then, I, don't know I have this, videos too. I can send mm -hmm. you. I caught on my ring camera. Yeah. Epigenic, epigenic, epigenetic. What the fuck is epigenetic? epigenetic? Yeah, you have to Google that shit. What I'm, epi, e p i, like epi, epi, genetic factors. Traumatic experiences can trigger epigenetic changes, altering gene expression, oh. patterns in brain cells, and potentially contributing to development of lesions. Lesions. Direct physical trauma, which you said you suffered. Mm -hmm. In, in cases of severe trauma, such as physical abuse or head injury resulting from emotional or mental distress, direct physical damage to brain tissue can occur, leading to the formation of? Lesions. Lesions. So I don't know who the fucking neurologist is, but she needs to go and read fucking what Chat ChatGPT wrote. And then what you talked about is, I said, what is periventricular scattered subcortical mean? What the fuck does that mean? Yes. The term periventricular scattered subcortical refers to the location of the brain certain sorry refers to the location of certain brain lesions or abnormalities so periventricular means uh surrounding the ventricles where the fluids fill spaces within the brain so the your brain never seen your fucking brain you have these little fucking like little highways in there ventricles like valleys mm -hmm. and shit mm -hmm. that, what flows in it I have a picture of it yeah but what flows in it cerebral spinal fluid. right and that's usually where they put the vp shunts to kind of help drain and shit or your your vp not your vp shunt but your it's like a shunt or bolt to measure your icp and stuff um scattered of course you know what scattered means mm -hmm. fucking throughout the cortical this means that the lesions are situated beneath the cerebral cortex which is the outer layer of the brain responsible for higher functions hmm. subcortical areas include structures such as the basal ganglia the thalamus and the white matter see that shit so that's what's happening right there who forgot when i say again i forgot what i <laughs> you were you were, she that she fucking forgot what i told her to look up no i, I looked that up no, no, no i wanted to show you something else i oh. looked that up right. no, no 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 i did look <laughs> Ah, I did. <laughs> oh, here we go. <clears throat> I, ma'am, I came all the way to Merced. You better fucking get your shit together. <laughs> <laughs> I here. Mm -hmm, I got you. Look. Oh yeah, that's right. That's the bench. There's right. my. Is that yours? Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. 
right. So in May, so I'm not going to apologize to anyone. Um, why would you but apologize? this is because that's how I am. Um, this is how my speech gets sometimes. I'm stressing around this. So way. no, it's I couldn't multitask. Anyhow, oh. um, when I do that, it. Wait, I could have swore women said they could fucking multitask. Sure. I used to be able to, um, but so. They found these lesions in my brain, May 2022, and a, a spinal cord enhancement uh, in my spine. It was mid, um, so I think it was L12 to T, L12, something like that, to T7 or something like that. You'll read it. So it says scattered white matter hyper hyper intensities mm -hmm. no clear periventricle predominantly subcortical but with cortical changes as below so he just mm -hmm. wasn't talked about mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. and he's reading my um notes from my neurologist it's from stanford um so anyhow so we had there's my brain it's her fucking brain so um we went through rigorous tests um that october and um yeah that following october and we i had to have a spinal tap which was very painful which the neuro neuro neurologist said it was weird that i had had such a reaction during the spinal tap well and, has he ever has he ever um, she she ever had a focus monitor i don't know but yeah, so it had felt and the two doctors that <laughs> were in there um was surprised too that i was having the pain that i was having during um and so they were like oh well that's abnormal so they ended up screening my um <clears throat> csf for um cancer the doctor was worried that maybe i had a malignancy in my csf which was negative um had some high albumins and stuff i'll show you everything but um so anyhow so then we continued to start with all of these rigorous tests i had to have a um give me a second um mm, the muscles test, the needle, electro, I got you. Um, and the nerve. I got you. So they were testing to see the response if it was of the muscles or pain. Both. Or both. Both. And the nerve re response. And how was it? It came back no normal. There were some areas that it was delayed. Um, and so. But with that neuromuscular doctor ruled it out um, that it was anything neuromuscular. And then the MOG facts titer came back low positive twice. And then the third time it was negative. Um, and so we just kind of been going through this and getting brain and find them MRIs about every three to six months. Since 2022? Mm -hmm. And has it changed? They the same? No, they said no sudden significant change. Huh? So my neurologist said that she did not feel that it was a mess because the lesions do not appear to look like a typical um so is there a special looking lesions for ms is that what apparently mm. now i got fucking homework to do <laughs> it's just, I, know it's. I keep giving him more homework, homework. This year. no because that makes me curious because you know i mean uh, we should notice like, especially we see somebody coming into the ed with these signs and symptoms these are things that we could think about it, uh, right if i went into ed you they would put me on do. stroke alert right yeah we wouldn't know what the fuck to do and shit we would, we would. Yeah. 
So it's crazy. It, yeah, you probably would. You would. But what makes it mad is the two doctors you said were saying that it's abnormal, but I don't like that because every patient is different. Yes. They're looking at you and trying to compare you to every patient, but every every fucking patient is different. Yeah. Stop every, treating everybody the same. And yes, stuff, so. and that's <clears throat> every person is their own person and experience things differently and right. that's where it gets frustrating right. no, I got you the then. epigenetics yeah i saw it it's the change in the blood it's a study of how your behaviors and the environment can cause changes that affect hmm? the way your genes work but does not change the dna or oh, changes how your genes work but not the dna yeah well, i mean i get that so so like combat soldiers abusers, wives no but that's good but combat soldiers abusive spout you know people that get abused it changes their genes and how the genes work but doesn't change your DNA. Yeah. But I wonder if it could be if it changes how your genes work, does it pass on to your kids? Right. And you then know what I mean? Is that why some kids are fucked up when they come from possible. abusive parents? And yeah. You know what I mean? Because it has to cause a type of uh mutation. Yeah, that's right? what I mean. I'm wondering. And break yeah. down. I mean if your gene works where... differently. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's but so then uh so May of 2022, I was out of work for five months. But this was at while you were at the mental health? Yeah. All right. well, I worked for the county. So why were you out of work? Because of this? Mm, yeah. Did they make you leave? Mm, the HR and medical director at the time told me if I was not fit to work, I could not come to work and I mean, you were working with at Cuckoo, so. that time i needed a cane oh yeah and um were so they upset that you had to have a cane yeah and well, you know so, if you had to have a cane and you worked with psych patients what could they have done right they could have grabbed it you beat the shit out of everybody me. not just you and but everybody so, else yeah. yeah and so then um <laughs> so i was off until october and went back to work and then i was working the last year and i went for a follow-up with my primary here and at that time i was using my walker yeah. and um the doctor said no it's too much of a risk for me to fall because i was started falling and did you fall um, at work? I did. So I, you know, a fall is anytime you lose balance. No, I know, yeah. And so a fall doesn't mean you have to hit the ground. A no. fall means a near miss. <laughs> I know yeah. that's right. Yeah. yeah. And so if a patient starts to fall and you have to catch them, that's still considered a fall. A fall. And so I was falling to the wall or the doorway. And then, um, it didn't show because we weren't recording, but I got stuck. So I could be mid walking and my leg forgot what it was doing. And so it causes a complete disconnect is the best way for me to describe it. So what did they tell you though, that you could have come back? Did they put you on workers' comp? No. Oh. So uh, my doctor took me off for my safety. Mm. So I had to call work, and they were very accommodating. No and light duty. No, no I work. Job. I work in the desk. Work from home. No, that's not an option. Why not? um we we're in fucking covid we were in a lockdown i know but our clinic was still open i got you um so we do, our type of patients don't all have access to a phone or computer right um and then when i talk 
like this. Mm, you can't talk to patients. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> it's like, can I get somebody to fucking talk right? So I can understand them and shit. Yeah. Does it make you feel embarrassed? Yeah. Why? And now uh, she. Why? I'm, you know. Why I'm, do you feel ashamed? I'm working on that. I'm not. I, mean, I get. Too, I, I'm not stupid. I mean, I get it and shit. But, yeah. You know. I feel embarrassed Why? for. Mm. For yourself, for your husband, or everybody involved? Everybody. Why? Because I feel that it makes people look at me. Well, I mean, of uh, course people are going to look at me because they want to know what. I've had... People aren't like Kevin where they say, hey, what the fuck's wrong with you? Yeah, <laughs> but, and I'm okay with that. It's, um, look at me. Just ask. What the fuck is the worst thing they're going to yeah, say? Are you okay? Something. Instead, I get people that give me dirty looks um, like at the store. They'll look at me mm-hmm. like... Why? And I'm... Why don't you say I my, to oh, my daughter says that. No, why don't for you say me. something? What the fuck are you looking at, bitch? Yeah, I just look <laughs> back at him like. <laughs> and then my daughter, she's like, Can I help you? you? Take, she, take she gets, the picture, bitch. Yeah, she's like, she's. I go to the store with her. and um, But my husband even said, Because P. People are mean and cut People me off. Yeah. I could have my walker or ride the scooter. Oh, they don't give a shit. They don't. No, that's why and I don't go to Disneyland. Oh, they were great to me. And no, but I went, yeah, but I went to Disneyland with my daughter who's eight. No, she's 21 now. Sorry, Emily. And so she was in a wheelchair because she had knee surgery. Uh-huh. And I'm fucking trying to push her through the lines and go through the people. And people just walk in front of you and cut you off. Yeah. I'm like, bitches, can't you see? I'm in a fucking wheelchair with my daughter and shit. But they don't give a fuck. They don't care. They don't give a shit. My husband tells me, <clears throat> like, you, stay the fuck with home. my king, yeah. he's like, triple, yeah. run into him. They want to cut you off. Fuck them. Just, I don't get that, though, man. I mean, no, it's <laughs> like, where, where did this come from? From. Us, we taught these kids to be this way. We taught people to be well, this way in our society. Some, a lot of them are older. <clears throat> Maybe they just don't give a shit. But Go back to where you that. came from. Yeah, that's true. You know, because mm-hmm. remember, you're not white. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's true. <laughs> Even that's though you true. are. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. should see her mother fucking blonde hair, blue <laughs> eyes, and shit. Now I know why her fucking daddy stayed with her. She. <laughs> yeah. So. so so when you had to get off of work in October 2022, was that the last time you worked? Mm-hmm. You kept trying to go back. I went back October. You want to take a break? No. Right. October 2022, I went back. Then I just went out October 2023. So you stayed a whole year? I did. Oh. And it just progressively yeah, but maybe the stress got brings worse. it on and that's what um we were thinking so i'm wondering if the, like, like, people who get stressed does ms get aggravated with the stress and shit. right because you know i get patients who have chronic seizures you know mm-hmm. special mm-hmm. needs clients i gotta have seizures and it says that that heat Cold stress all mm-hmm. ag- you know, aggravates and mm-hmm. stuff. Heat really affects my See what I mean? walking. But I'm wondering if it's because it overheats your brain like a computer, so That's your processor yeah. slows down. And or like now you're having a multitask and I'm fucking you up. No, I'm good. You think about eating a fucking burrito <laughs> and doing my fucking Google search and talking to me. <laughs> so your brain don't know what the fuck to and- do. So that's my <laughs> I stop. I got pictures of the her in the burrito. Uh, I Stop driving. Um, but you never, I better knock on wood and shit. You never had a seizure? No. <laughs> not a possible. Oh, fuck, I forgot to bring my sage. That's, I want to have mine. I don't know if I trust yours. Shut up. <laughs> um, my <clears throat> shit. <laughs> Sorry. Did you just shit? No. What? Well, you shit and you forgot what you were saying? Mm. It's all right. Just relax. Look at me. Relax. What is it? Relax. We were talking about having seizures, talking about oh. 
Right. We, <laughs> we, um, that is a possible side effect. It couldn't affect my speech, which started in, in October. So before, October, and, before, before 2022, did you have any speech problems? So how can they say it's not progressing? Mm -hmm. And vision. Have you ever seen a, a speech pathologist? Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I know, but that maybe they can help my, you or no. Yeah. yeah. So my friend does speech, and um, he actually is my neighbor, oh. and he heard me. Well, how come he ain't fucking here? He's coming. I seen him on. <laughs> What's his name? Billy. Billy, where the fuck you at? We're right here, <laughs> shit. We need your ass and shit, <laughs> fucking Billy. <laughs> and uh, he said he will do house visit for me. Um, Does he have tips and tricks? Yeah, to try to help me. What about if you blindfold yourself? No, I get dizzy and blindfolded? then fall. Mm -hmm. No, I don't mean blindfolded and walk. I'm talking about blindfolded to see if it'll help with your speech because mm. you're you're looking at things thinking too much and maybe because oh, you're looking well, at thinking too much so and i'm not even like mm, looking but i'm not looking at what i'm what's in front of me i'm looking to stay focused on the word i, know, I was trying to i know that but you're you're looking around your brain's going a million miles an hour yeah. right? and now your brain can't what yeah it's possible mm -hmm. Let's look at what a speech. And then the other thing is, so my right leg has a mind of its own, and will make sure I shake. And uh, and it will um like will um uh, um. So your speech. Spasm. See what I mean? But look where your speech center is. Right back there. Mm. What is that? What's it close to? Oh, your speech center is in the front. Bruh. No, that's motor and control, larynx, pharynx. That's a tongue, though. Oh. What is this? This is your posterior language here, but that's language in the back. Uh huh. See what I mean? And I read how I speak when I'm speaking like this, um, which my physical therapist said that it's brain and not motor function uh which is good and but i can have seizures because of this knock on wood and then i can also have blindness but i stopped driving because i was trying to hit the I have my foot on the brake and then my legs back and then so you hit the gas. And so Did you have an accident? No. No. I, I, I quickly put my left foot on the brake and then I was the time I drove. Yeah. Because I don't want to be responsible yeah. to hurt others. Well, you probably could probably get in trouble too. Yeah. And you could lose your fucking nursing license. I'm good. So I stopped driving and sold my beautiful car at oh. the dealer. But that's okay. It oh. saved me money. <laughs> what kind of car was it? It was a Hyundai Tucson 2019. Mm -hmm. I have BBS wheels. Other people and shit that you bought. They were though. I was, I was sad. Um, but you feel good. like your independence has been taken away. You know what? No, because I feel it was the best decision. I know, but you're here at home. Do you do anything besides sit at home all fucking day? Um. Yeah, I have people who will come pick me up. We'll go do stuff. Um, my husband makes sure he gets me out of the house, even if it's just to run an errand. See, and that's how fast it clears up. Um, or I do a lot of Stupid hobbies. Thing about your husband. Actually, I was thinking about my car and how husband? that was the best What's decision. your husband's name? John. Fucking John. Look at her. Her speech cleared up when she talked about you. <laughs> He's great. He's amazing. <laughs>
I have to I see you. I see you, John. Mm -hmm. And so um, I'm at peace with that, and I'm okay with that. Because I don't think you know people who lose their independence deteriorate, but yeah. so that's why I'm asking, do you no, feel like you've lost your I don't. independence? No, because if I want to go somewhere, somebody will come pick me up and take me. Your kids? You say your kids take My you daughter takes me. Oh, your daughter? She's going to be 21. 20, oh, she like mine, huh? Mm -hmm. What's her name? Annabelle. Thank you, Annabelle, for taking care of your mom. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. It's and great. then when I see my other daughter in, in Montana, she takes me places and she doesn't, she also, they're very protective of me. Yeah, I mean, because, I mean, why would you want to make, why would you want to make fun of motherfuckers who yeah. can't talk or speak? If you don't know, that could be your karma coming back to bite you in the ass and shit. Mm-hmm. So, mm -hmm. I don't get that shit. No, me neither. So October 2023 stopped working. Yes. And so that's almost and that's when my speech started. That's that's uh October, November, December, January, February, sorry, four months. Yeah. So what have you been doing for the last four months? Relearning how to be a housewife. Oh, wait a minute. Calm down there, ladies. Housewives. You're gonna get us in trouble this shit. Listen, housewife is a full time job. Period. One hundred. She is not a housewife. She is a domestic engineer. Or homemaker. No, I don't. Oh, did they get rid of that one too? I think they did. Really? What is the political correct term for a housewife? Let's see what they say. All these people getting their feelings hurt over BS. Domestic engineer. Shut the fuck. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sorry because people got their feelings hurt. I love the shit. Like, oh, there was, no, you know what? I was a proud housewife. I had no problem being a housewife, taking care of my kids. A that meal? is, no. <laughs> I had no problem with that. But, you know, we're empty nesters. We have no kids at home. It's just my husband and I. So that, you know, that in itself is a change, you know? Oh, that's not your husband. That's your partner. No, it's my husband. <laughs> I don't think it gets me confused that people get mad when they're like, that's your partner. No. Okay, but that's still my wife and shit. Like, that's my husband and I his wife. Well, period. I, I think we make these words up to make ourselves feel better. Stop Instead of homeless. <laughs> yeah. Don't be mad at me, Nelly. Don't be mad at me and shit. I don't, I don't know why. I mean, I'm not trying to make fun of people, but why do you need to fucking make up words to make people feel better? It is what it is. Yeah. If you're homeless, you're homeless. Why you got there is a different reason. We can fix it. We can help you. But why do you? If they want help. Okay. So but why do you need help. to change a word to make them feel better? Because to me, if you change the word to make them feel better, maybe they don't want to. Maybe they don't want to get the help. Maybe yes. They, maybe they want to stay unhoused. They do. Oh. So, well, not all of them, but no, I'm, sure, I'm, sure, I'm sure a lot of them. You. I'm sure a lot of them, because I have them right there next to our building, right next to Highway 99. They're camped out. Oh, I'm sorry. They have a um, temporary a shelter that they have created. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm right with? I can say so many things. We'll have that conversation on here. I can't. My no, me. It's okay. Heaven is not politically correct. If no. you don't fucking know it by now, then I don't know what the fuck. No, and, and it's okay, but I have things to say that I shouldn't say on here because, like my husband said, once it's out there, it's out there. I know. So I'm just gonna not on that, but we'll have a conversation. Okay. It's gonna be great. Um, but you know, it's it, it is a challenge. So I, I do um wood puzzles. I like those uh because they're so anybody wants to send her a wood puzzle that oh. she can I love wood puzzles. Um, my husband got me a paint by numbers. Um, Are you able to paint? Because I can see you fucking like. I stop when it does it. <laughs> I, I do. I know I fucked up, but no, you it, know your bitches are thinking. So, see? <laughs> yeah. So I, uh, you know, if they have a, a way to fix the paint brushes so you can hold them better. Oh, maybe they do. Hold on. On your special needs children who have problems with writing, is there a special way to make their paintbrush better for them so they can use it more appropriately? 
We'll find out Miss Pat's yeah. Miss Pat's a special needs teacher, so maybe she'll fucking know. Anything. Because I also get numbness. Bigger pencils? Bigger paintbrushes? Yeah, fatter. like fatter. Remember like the spoons? You remember, the remember the fucking spoons? Yeah. Like, uh, but so just like, I think this if you know anything. You know the pencils, like how they had the that little foam thing that you could slide oh, yeah. over it. But the problem with the paintbrush is that opening um it's it the it smaller one. Won't you make your own? Oh, yeah, there's a See, and maybe you just have something that you just created. Uh, they look. My husband, okay. my husband showed me a chair that would be perfect for me to get in the back. So then, why don't you use he, it? What is it's where it? it's. What's he doing he, with that package? Well, he hasn't done it yet, but what his idea was. Billy? No, John. Oh, John. Has, sorry, John. Sorry. Uh, who, who the fuck was Billy? Billy's speech, and then. Oh, that's right. Fuck you, Billy. John, get your head together with the fucking chair. Yeah, so it, he said, babe, you need one that is your height that could be adjusted to your height I in the would height be good of for the old, yeah, but That would be good for old people, too. Exactly. But then that pivots. Oh, see? That makes sense, huh? So why don't you pivot? What is Instead it, what of a lift. Did he create know, it? No, but we were just talking about what it. The fuck? All right, John. Get He's on it. He's on it. Is he an so, is he is he engineer? He's handy, but he's not an engineer. Mm -hmm, but he could make, because I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm going to pay attention to John. There you go. But so we, um, you know, these, like we, things that are difficult, like it's hard for me to clean my tub. So I bought uh, one of those extended ones. But wait a ones. minute. You're on disability. Yeah. A permanent disability. Yes. So they don't provide you with any type of home care services? No. Why not? Have you applied? No. Why not? I don't know what my needs would be. Uh, to fucking help clean your house? <laughs> you know what I mean? They have yeah. the home health services that yeah. would do that shit for you. Mm -hmm. Which would be nice. Why don't you do that? I don't know. I didn't think about it until yeah, you bring see. it up. Just like yesterday, you're bringing things up. Oh, I'm I don't like, oh, well. See, but yeah, they would do it. Yeah. Because they have like one, I don't know if it's like for old not year old, but they have it for old people who can't. You called me old Ben yesterday. Well, all right. She is fucking over 40 and shit. Like, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> 55, we can't get a senior discount. <laughs> We're fucked, John. We're fucked. So, uh, uh, for old people, like, you know, the name's mom and dad live with us and stuff, you know, and they, like her dad, he can take care of himself, but sometimes he's forgetful. Right. So, reminders to come take your meds. They have, they have things that they'll do that you can mm -hmm. you know, which would be nice uh, no, I, mean, I like cleaning my house because then every I do what day you can, i but feel what you can't do yeah Don't be well down. and my husband said he goes if you can't clean it tell me i'll clean it for you and i was like okay uh, billy, so i'm gonna focus say billy again but john home health services motherfucker, once or twice a week that's all you gotta do yeah and so I, you know, he'll, like, I leave dishes in the sink on purpose because then I get up and I'm like, I gotta do the dishes. And it just kind of keeps me on track and in that motion. I know a fucking nurse who you can hire and give you a nice bed base. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Joe. <John. laughs> That'll be my nurse wife, Stacy. Uh, oh, oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Stacy, I miss you. I hope you're doing okay, even though you don't fucking stay in touch. And, and Ryan, you know. she'll come too. All right, I don't know if I know Ryan. I don't mm -hmm. know if Ryan. I don't remember no. Ryan. Was Ryan in my class? I don't know if she took the class or not. Well, fuck you. But Ryan. I send them the podcast, so they'll be watching. Oh, that's mm -hmm. good. I hope oh, I shared it. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. Good. See? So we talked yesterday about Kevin. Yes. Not this fucking Kevin. No, not this Kevin. But my biological father. She found her father. That's so fucked up, man. She's fucking getting me, and now she got another Kevin in her life and shit. So, do you know anything about Kevin? I just know that he is Thai. So, you're part Thai? Yes. And your mother is? White. So, what is your DNA here? Did you do 23 yeah, I did 23 and me and ancestry. Oh, oh, I don't think I did ancestry. I just did 23 and me. But, you know, they oh. stole all of our fucking DNA and shit, right? That's oh, okay. Now, I'm going to ask you a question while you're looking up. No, I better not because you might, I might fuck you. I'll wait for you. <laughs> I'll wait for you. <laughs> There's my ancestry. All right, so let me let me open up mine so I can read mine so y'all bitches will know what Kevin is. Because my mama lied to me and shit. My mom said that I was fucking Cajun and all this other shit. Uh -huh. Cherokee Indian. 
Oh, my mama told me that. I'm too. like one motherfucker percent. Yeah. Native American. I'm, ne- I'm nothing. I said, Mom, I think, I think you were lied to. I don't think there's any Native Yeah, they don't even know what the fuck uh, Native American I am and shit. I got 1% North African, which it's not in the right spot. <laughs> I got painted and shit. You sure did. I did. But Miss Pat's happy. Miss Pat's she, happy. I think she is. I don't know. She could, she could be lying to me and shit. Had a security measure, 20 all re- What the fucking bitches? I hate this motherfucker. It made me reset my password because she all fucked up 23 and me. Did you hear what 23 and me did? No. So they lost somebody hacked into our d- DNA thing, and so they got all of our DNA. Now the word that they're gonna make some biological weapons to kill us and shit. Oh. I know, right? Imagine that shit. Imagine that. All right, so let me read yours. I gotta reset my fucking password. I gotta get my glasses on though so I can read. I don't see that. So Northwestern European, fifty percent. Mm-hmm. British and Irish. Oh, I'm more than you. You got very little, but I'm surprised by that. A greater London. Mm-hmm. I might. Uh, 36, 30, 37 point six percent. Oh, you got nine regions of of London that you're greater London that you're from. Uh, let me see here. You have 12.4% French and German. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. Uh, look at this shit. 49.1% Indonesian, Thai, Timer, and Myanmar. My, my, I don't know if I'm saying that. I don't know. Cambo- it's uh, Batam- Batambang Province, Cambodia. It is spelled M Y A N M A. Look at you. And you are 0.6%. Chinese. Mm-hmm. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Ni How are you? Uh, why? I love you. Aww. And you are zero point six percent northern northern Chinese and Tibetan. Mm-hmm. Look at that fucking shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you know the Chinese and the Tibetans don't like each other. They're always yes. fucking fighting shit. Did you know that? I did. That's fucking and crazy. And the Chinese not get along with um, Thai. I don't think the Chinese get along very much with any it's, fucking body it's shit. Like, I don't understand why they like fucking with everybody and stuff. Like, I don't get that shit. I don't remember why. Oh, yeah, this kid's dead. I don't know what happened to my. Maybe it fucking sent it to my spam. I'm like fucking. I don't know. I'm like 60% fucking British. And oh, Irish. okay. So, and then I am my. I'm the, uh, what happened to my 23 me? Oh, maybe went to my spam shit. No, I guess it didn't. Three me. I'm listening to you. Oh, I'm just pulling it up. I don't want to fuck you up and shit. No. So then on my ancestry, <laughs> it says that I'm 50% mainland Southeast Asian. I am 28% Scotland and 10% England and Northwestern Europe. Sweden and Denmark went by 9%. Mama and Wales is yes. 3%. That's your mama side. Yeah, so the the Scotland, the whole white side is my mom. Yeah, her mama's fucking blonde hair, blue eyed. Right? Yes. She white. She is white. White, 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 white. Your mama's white, white. It's good though. Oh yeah. That's why your daddy didn't want to leave. She you. beautiful. What the fuck? I just had your suggested password, bitch. Oh shit! See what happens, to this motherfucker. All right, let me try this again. Are you in a hurry? For what? I don't know. I just want to make sure Jane's fucking probably crazy. Like, Kevin, you guys aren't talking and shit. Nobody's oh, talking. we're trying to find photos. I'm trying. He keeps talking about my mom, and I want to show you all photos. a photo of my mom. A more recent photo of my mom. Well, here, let me see. I'm so, trouble with my fucking 23 me. Here's her fucking mom and shit like that. For those oh, of yeah. you that can't see because you're listening to the podcast, you can go to the fucking YouTube channel and watch the shit. That's her mom and shit. Yeah. And then, oh, this is your mom. I don't know what the fuck this is about. That's that fucking cowboy shit that we used to fucking always take in pictures Columbia. of. In Columbia. Oh, 
on. Here's this reminds me of seventies. Your mama's a seventies chick. Who's the guy with her? That's Billy. That was her first husband that passed away when I was three. That's your who you thought your dad was. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Billy, man. Sorry, Billy. I'm sorry you had to go through that, Billy. But it's, you know, it's scary though, right? It is very. You know, your mama's trying to uh your mama's trying to do the right thing and Yeah. But then I don't know, women are sometimes crazy, right? Women do crazy shit. We do. Why? Because men make us. <laughs> I don't think men make you. I think you chose to do it on your own. <laughs> I mean, is the dick that fucking good? Or is it that you have a nurturing? Because that dick ain't that good. Right. So is it a nurturing Keep thing? Hmm? Is it a nurturing thing? It could be, yeah. You know what I mean? Hopeful. Caring, wanting better. I don't think about that. Is it a nurturing thing? I think so. Maybe you think you can change this and shit. <laughs> well, there you go. Who's that? Me. Shut up. I know y'all can't see us on camera and shit unless you go to our fucking YouTube page. Yeah, that's I can't. That's a long time ago, huh? Mm-hmm. The all three Baby, of you. Elementary and high school. Mm -hmm. and you said you uh, saw. I get you. Um, what you were doing? What in high school? You got you got pregnant in high school. I got pregnant my senior year. Senior year. Now I don't know why. With my first husband. Now I don't know why. Oh, that's right. With uh, what's his name? Cameron. So, what is it? Cameron. Fuck with Cameron. Should we fuck with Cameron? No. <laughs> That's you. Mm -hmm. How long ago was that? that we do was... painting way back in the day. It was face painting. We really do that back in the day. We did. Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't. I, mean, I guess that's true. I I don't never get remember. to. I didn't what? get to experience that shit. Oh. The only thing we ever I ever got to do as a kid is go to vacation Bible school. Oh, I didn't. Even... All right. I, I so, did the sixth grade camp. So I don't know if you know this. Growing up, I was hardcore Southern Baptist. Oh. All right. That makes sense. And so, you know, we went to, you always had to go to vacation Bible school. I know that not every Baptist who, who's a Baptist did this, but my family and a lot of people that I, a lot of people that I uh, went with, mm -hmm. hung around with, they probably don't know this, but I got the shit kicked out of me almost every day. Really? Belt buckles. Oh, yeah. Uh, leather straps. And so, uh, to memorize the Bible, yes, all in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So, that's I was reading Baptist Pentecostal. My mother was going to get a divorce, and I won't mention her name because him and I are friends on Facebook, even though we're not probably not like close friends anymore because we haven't seen each other since we we're kids and shit. He's okay, dude. I like him, but his parents and our parents always hung around together. Mm -hmm. And when my mom and my stepdad were getting divorced, they his parents took us on a road trip and they came with us. And his dad and his mom, I guess, were trying to convince my mother to stay with my stepdad. Mm -hmm. But I think that's because they didn't know what What's kind going? of person yeah. he was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He fucking beat the shit out of people. Mm -hmm. So I now got to figure out how to go with my ancestry report. Here we go. All right, so my ancestry report, so you motherfuckers know, I'm not fucking Cajun. I am 64.9% British and Irish. Oh. Northern, North Central Ireland. And uh, North and Central Scotland. Oh, okay. I know. And then there's 20 different regions. So there's United Kingdom, Republic of Ireland. Also, so like when they talk about North Central Ireland, they're talking about Monaghan. Calvin and Litrim. Okay, all you Irish people, don't be fucking mad. I don't know how to say that shit. I haven't been able to go see my people yet. Um, Meath, West Meath, Louth, Sligo, Longford. It's crazy, right? On the North Island. And in Scotland, Scotland is uh, Central Northern, many of whom speak either Scottish Gaelic or Scots. Mm. And the name Kevin is what? Scottish. It's Gaelic. Oh, is it? Yeah, it is yeah, Scottish. It's Gaelic, yeah. 
That's crazy, right? That is. All right, so oh shit, got I fucked up. I don't know, Thank you, man. He likes to mess up all the time. And then um, let me see here. Let me go back. So then I am thirteen point five percent French and German, just like you. Uh huh. And then I don't know what this fucking means. Ten point nine percent broadly Northwestern European. Broadly? I don't know what the fuck that means. Um, it says uh. 7.0% Spanish and Portuguese. Oh, sorry. Uh, 1% Sardinian. I don't know what the fuck that is. And then what? It's almost, it's S A R D I N I A N. Sardinian. 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 Yeah. Sardinian. Sardinian. And she speaks better than I fucking do. And then 1.2% uh, <laughs> broadly Southern European. I don't even know what the fuck that means. Oh, see, now I got reduced, fuck you oh. bitches, from 1% indigenous American down to 0.7%. Oh, what the fuck? And then I am, oh, now, I, this is new, I don't remember this, because it says Western, Asian, and North Africa. 0.5%. Oh. Anatolian. A-N-A-T-O-L-I-A-N-A. -A -A. I'm Anatolian. And Northwest Asian. I got a little Asian. You know what that's from? Mm. Genghis Khan. Yeah. Does that mm -hmm. make sense? Yeah. Oh. It's great. It's great. It is. It is. It's interesting. All right, bitches. So we're going to end up stopping here. And we're going to do one last episode to finish up this um, mini series with Alicia Trasitter. <laughs> ah, see, I got that shit right. All right, Vincent, we'll be back in a little bit for our last episode. Stay tuned, and we hope you've been enjoying this shit. And fuck all you motherfuckers.